Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel we talk about tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, we're going to talk about five big mistakes you don't want to make when you're getting started as a dog breeder. So let's get into the content. Okay, the first big mistake I want to encourage you not to make is failing to research your breed thoroughly. You've chosen a breed to work with and you need to know a lot about these dogs. What kind of requirements do they have in order for you to look after them? Some people don't look into these things. Is it hard to keep them warm? Is it hard to keep them cold? What size litters do they have? Some of these breeds require or, or do better uh, giving birth with C-sections when they're born. They have dietary requirements, space requirements, and the list goes on. You can save yourself a ton of trouble by doing adequate research on your breed before you get started with them. And you'll have some time getting to know these dogs when you go out and buy dogs. Uh, like I buy puppies, for instance. We talk about how um, uh, I'm going to tell you what I do and you can take that information and use it to the best of your ability to help you with your decisions. I don't get into the ins and outs of what everybody else is doing. I talk about what I'm doing because that's what I know. And uh, you get a couple of years to spend with these dogs. When you buy puppies, I buy puppies. And uh, that gives you a chance to, to get to know the breed if you don't already, get some experience with them. Uh, it's important to understand your breed uh, real well. Uh, go with what you know, as they say. And if you don't know a lot about them, then learn about them. Talk to some people about them. Go on YouTube and find YouTube videos about them. Get around the dogs, get a couple yourself. Research your breed real well. This will save you a ton of trouble when you start breeding. Okay, here's big mistake number two, failing to buy dogs that you can register. Folks, don't buy dogs that you can't register. You need to be able to register these dogs uh, with whichever registry you choose, whether it's the AKC or the ACA or, or one of the breed specific registries. There's plenty of them out there, but both of your parent dogs, the dam and the sire, need to have a pedigree that everyone can look at and we need to be able to register their puppies with whatever registry the parents belong to. If you don't have the pedigree available then you can't register the puppies and you're going to have a problem when it comes time to sell them. You may still be able to sell non-registrable puppies but you, you, you won't get half as much business with that. There, you're not maintaining any of the breed standards at that point. Um, and, and people are looking for registrable puppies. So don't make the mistake of setting yourself up to have litters of puppies that you can't register. Okay, here's big mistake number three, forgetting to microchip your dogs. Folks, you need to put the chips in your dogs. Get them microchipped. Uh, if you don't want to do it yourself, have your vet do it. Sometimes when you buy a dog from somebody, a breeder, uh, you pick up a puppy from them, they're, they're already microchipped and you just need to activate them. But here's the thing, um, this is the only way for you to prove that that dog is yours. Okay, the chips, uh, once you get them activated, uh, the activation, the, the, the numbers and the breeder information and the veterinary information, this all gets linked to your ownership paperwork. So if there's ever an ownership dispute or if your dog gets lost or stolen, uh, and, and you're trying to recover them, uh, but they've got to have a way to figure out who owns the dog. And these microchips are it. It's a big mistake to not register your dogs. It's a big mistake to not microchip your dogs. So remember to get the microchips. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help us out quite a bit. And if you want to support our channel, We've got a Teespring store. I'll put a link in the description and you can stop in and check out a t-shirt or a coffee mug. And thanks in advance for doing that. Okay, here's big mistake number four, 
not checking to see what the state and local laws are in your area for dog breeding. Is it even legal for you to breed dogs where you are? Because in some places it's not. In other places it's perfectly fine. And you need to find out specifically what the rules are where you live. Inside somebody's city limits? Are you out in unincorporated county? Are you in a state that's breeder friendly? Uh, these are all questions you need to ask. And ignorance is no excuse. They don't care whether or not you know. The law is the law and you need to find out what it is. Um, in some cases, there are certain breeds that aren't allowed in some places. Uh, in some cases, you're only allowed to have so many dogs on site. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with local and state uh, laws pertaining to the breeding that you want to do. Uh, there's also, uh, in some places, uh, insurance companies, your homeowner's insurance, uh, may or may not like the, the type of breed that you want to have around. So these are all questions that you need to ask. Um, if you're not sure, you, you need to find out. Look it up yourself, ask an attorney, do both. Uh, most attorneys will have a conversation with you about these things, either for free or a small consultation fee to sit down and talk to them for a few minutes. But you need to find out. Uh, take, take all the questions off the table on this one. Uh, because like I said, uh, whether or not you know what the law is, they don't care. What matters is whether or not you're uh, in compliance or in violation. So find out what the laws and the rules are where you live as pertaining to breeding. Okay, that brings us to big mistake number five, not having a marketing plan. That's right, you need to have a marketing plan for selling your dogs and you need to do this ahead of time before you have puppies. You need to figure out how you're gonna sell them. What are you gonna do with that? Newspaper ads, you're gonna to go to one of the online listings. You can't sell live animals on Facebook, although you can direct people to a site where you can sell live animals. Some people do it with their own personal website. I personally use puppyfine.com. I list my puppies there and I'll do another video in the future about marketing dogs um, and how I go about doing that, what works for me. Uh, but the mistake that I wanna talk about today is not having a marketing plan. You need to have a marketing plan. So spend some time considering exactly how you wanna sell your dogs, who you wanna sell them to, and for how much. And I'll, I'll do another video on the specifics of how I go about doing that. Okay, that's a wrap on my five big mistakes not to make when you're getting started as a dog breeder. We appreciate you stopping in to Must Love Labs. Uh, if you got value out of this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. And you definitely want to subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos in the future on this topic and others. Feel free to leave comments in the comments box if there's something you'd like to hear me talking about in the future. And thanks for coming to Must Love Labs. We'll see you in the next video.